everybody, welcome to episode 15 of the Famous Pipe Smoker Friday show and today is a special episode for Memorial Day, so welcome. Today on the show we want to take a moment to remember the members of our military who were pipe smokers, beginning with General George Washington, the father of our country who famously told the President of the Continental Congress in 1776, if you can't send money, send tobacco. Now, remember, in those days, cameras were not around, so there aren't many pictures of uh, General Washington smoking a pipe and all of the portraits that were done by painters. They don't have him smoking a pipe, but... George Washington also grew tobacco at his estate in Mount Vernon as a way to make cash. However, it uh, became difficult for him to make money with tobacco. Anyways, another pipe smoker is General George Smith Patton Jr. Uh, who was a general of the United States Army, who commanded the U.S. 7th Army in the Mediterranean Theater of World War II, and the U.S. 3rd Army in France and Germany following the Allied invasion of Normandy in June 1944. Born in 1885 to a family with an extensive military background that spanned both the United States and Confederate States armies, Patton attended the Virginia Military Institute and the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. All right, another pipe smoker in the military was General Douglas MacArthur. Woo an American five-star general and field marshal of the Philippine Army. He was chief of staff of the United States Army during the 1930s and played a prominent role in the Pacific Theater during World War II. He received the Medal of Honor for his service in the Philippines campaign. He was one of only five to rise to the rank of general of the Army in the U.S. Army and the only one confer the rank of Field Marshal in the Philippine Army. So famous a pipe smoker was he that he has a pipe name after him, Missouri Mearshore MacArthur. Now, <clears throat> there was smoking also in our uh, military for uh, our independence as well as the Civil War. And during the Civil War is where cameras were around. So here's a few images of some of our troops. Uh, smoking a pipe during that time. Uh, all right, and here is a brief history of smoking in our military. And like I said, it was in the um, independence as well as civil war. Now, World War One. There's no denying that World War One saw an amazing increase in smoking among soldiers, though perhaps not sailors. Uh, cigarettes and pipes were among the most requested comforts of all ranks of the troops. In 1916, tobacco became part of almost every Allied Army's standard rations. A whole industry of accessories sprang up, which included sealed waterproof cigarette cases, windbreaks for lighting matches, match cases, even smoking helmets. Pipes were also in demand due to their tendency to get dropped or break while on duty in the firing lane. Firing line, sorry. <laughs> now, World War II. Uh, as part of the, world, the war effort in World War II, U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt, Theodore Roosevelt made tobacco a protective crop. Rations packs for soldiers of all Allied forces began to contain cigarettes and traditions developed around smoking in World War I continued. Soldiers and sailors loved to smoke and were encouraged to do so to improve morale and relieve boredom. One of the most iconic 
images of World War II <clears throat> is that of the before above mentioned U.S. General Douglas MacArthur smoking his incredibly overdone corn cob pipe, which is now acknowledged as a unique style among pipe smokers. Now, during our present day, while smoking remains a significant part of military culture, culture <clears throat> currently most of the English-speaking world is trying to reduce smoking in their military services. The withdrawal of cigarettes from ration packs in 1975 in the U.S. military was the first step in this process. But, it seems that the U.S. military in particular is fostering smoking on one hand and restricting it on the other. Smoking is forbidden below decks on submarines in the U.S. military as of 2010 and also in basic training. However, subsidized cheap cigarettes are still available on military bases and smoking is still very much part of military culture as you can see by these images and now here is a bonus famous pipe smoker probably the most famous navy pipe smoker the great popeye the sailor that's right he was a pipe smoker all right that's all i have for this week if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel so that you can stay up to date with all my other programming. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram at The El Magnifico. Lastly, I want to say one more thing. I want to say thank you to all of our men and women in our armed forces who have given their lives to protect our freedoms. And whatever you are, have a great weekend. May God bless you all. And so long. And thanks for all the fish. Ciao.